There's nothing better in the summertime than a cool dessert. They're easy to make. You can make them ahead of time and they're perfect for a potluck. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm sharing five no-bake summer dessert recipes that everyone's gonna love. Okay y'all, let's get started. This cherries in the snow dessert is one of my family's favorites. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my daddy. You're gonna need a pretty big bowl here. And I'm adding eight ounces of softened cream cheese and also half a cup of powdered sugar. And I went ahead and gave that a mix just to whip up that cream cheese a little. We want this as smooth and creamy as we can get it. Next, I'm adding half a cup of milk and I'm just using 2%. Now we're going to mix this up until it's well combined. Now we're going to add in 12 ounces of whipped topping. I used one and a half of those small containers. Oh, and you do want to make sure it's completely thawed. Oh, and I forgot earlier to add a teaspoon of vanilla, so I'm adding that now. Now we're just going to fold that together until it's all combined. I've got a store-bought pre-baked angel food cake here. I think it was about a nine inch one. I cut it into small cubes, kind of like bite-sized pieces. Then you're just gonna give that a stir until all that angel food cake is covered in that mixture. I'm using a nine by 13 to make this in. Oh, and I bet it would be really pretty in a trifle dish too. Now all you gotta do is pour it all in there. Just make sure you get it all. We don't wanna waste any. Now I'm spreading that out into an even layer. I'm using two of the 21 ounce cans of cherry pie filling. I'm adding those right on top and then gently spread them out. And this would be really good with blueberry pie filling too. You can even add a little lemon zest to that whipped cream mixture. That would be delicious. Okay, if you can be patient, I would go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator for about one hour before you serve it. This recipe is super simple to make, and I'm telling you, it's absolutely delicious. Using that store-bought angel food cake makes this quick and easy to make, and that whipped cream mixture is not too sweet, it's just right. And the cherries on top are my favorite. And Daddy, I know you're watching, I promise I will make this soon. Your birthday's coming up anyway. Y'all, he went crazy over this dessert. I forget the words he used, but he loved it. This no-bake chocolate chip cookie pie has to be one of the easiest, most simple dessert recipes I've ever made. I'm using a store-bought shortbread cookie crust, and you're going to need one package of chocolate chip cookies. I've got one cup of milk sitting over to the side there. You're going to do this one at a time. You're gonna take each cookie and dunk it quickly into that milk, and you're gonna lay them in one single layer in the bottom of that pie crust. I know I said do these one at a time, but I was trying to hurry here. I got six cookies in the bottom there, and if you wanted to, you could break up a cookie and fill in those spots. I'm using an eight ounce container of whipped cream but for right now, you're gonna spread only one third of that whipped cream over the top of those cookies. Make sure you get that down in between those cookies too. And after you get that all spread out evenly, we're gonna do that process again. Two more times actually. The layer of cookies, then the whipped cream, then another layer of cookies, and another layer of whipped cream. You just wanna fill up that pie crust. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and it lets me know you want to see more videos like this. Now after we get that all layered in there, we got to do something to it to make it look pretty. So I just crumbled up a chocolate chip cookie and sprinkled it over the top. I also had some little mini chocolate chips, so I sprinkled those over the top too. You could also drizzle on a little chocolate syrup. That would be delicious. Now we're going to cover this and place it in the refrigerator to chill for about eight hours. You want to give it time for those cookies to soften up. And I promise you, if you want to make an easy dessert recipe, 
This is the one you've got to try. I put this thing together in like five minutes. And I haven't tried this yet, but I do want to experiment with some different cookies like Oreos or even Pecan Sandies. This was my first time making this no-bake Twinkie cake and it will definitely not be the last. We're gonna start by making a pudding mixture. So for that, in a large bowl, I'm adding two cups of cold milk. I just use 2%, along with a small three ounce package of vanilla instant pudding mix. Then you're gonna whisk that until it's combined and slightly thickened. We're not gonna use this just yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get it made so it'll be ready for us when we need it. I just set it to the side. Then you're gonna grab a nine by 13 dish or a pan. You're gonna need one box of Twinkies. This is a 10 count box. You're gonna cut each Twinkie in half and then you're gonna lay each half cream side up to cover the entire bottom of that dish. I ended up only using eight of them, so I had two left over to snack on. Next, I sliced up about four bananas. Then I placed them evenly over the top of those Twinkies. It ended up being a couple layers of them. So if you wanted to, you could really get by with only two or three bananas. And for the next layer, I'm adding a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. I put that in my little strainer there and I drained out all the juice I could. Then gently spread those out over the top of those bananas. Now you're gonna grab that pudding mixture that we made up just a little bit ago and pour it over the top. Then spread it out to completely cover everything. While I'm thinking about it, if you're new, I would really love to have you here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you get notified of all my future videos. Now for the last layer, we're gonna spread over an eight ounce container of thawed whip topping. And you'll wanna spread it gently, that way you don't mix it into the pudding. It's just prettier when you can see all the layers. Now to finish this off, we're gonna lay on some maraschino cherries. And I did let them dry just a little bit on a paper towel before I added them on. I covered this and let it chill for about one hour before we dug into it. I gave it a 10 out of 10. It was so good. And I'll admit, it may not look the prettiest, but it was delicious. The bananas, the pineapple, the cherries. Oh, and the Twinkies. We can't forget the Twinkies. They all went perfect together. This is perfect to make for a summer cookout, a party, a potluck, and I'm telling you, everyone's going to love it. This no-bake peanut butter pie is my husband's favorite. You can use a store-bought graham cracker crust, but I like using the chocolate one for this. This is a chocolate nut pie crust. I found it at Walmart. So just use whichever one you prefer. You'll need a bottle of chocolate magic shell, and you're just gonna pour it right on into the pie crust there. And I did enough to make a pretty good thin little layer there. And I took the back of my spoon and spread it out and kind of spread it up the sides a little bit. And you can feel free to skip the magic shell in this. It'll still be delicious, but we love it. And I put that in the refrigerator to chill while I started on the filling. In a large bowl, I added eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Along with one cup of peanut butter. I like Jif, but you can use any peanut butter you like. I don't recommend the natural kind though, the kind you have to stir. I'm really not too sure how that one would work. Then next, you're gonna add in one cup of powdered sugar. I like using the powdered sugar because it completely dissolves and it's not grainy. It's more smooth and creamy. Now you're gonna use your electric mixer to give this a really good mix. I've got an eight ounce package of whipped topping here that's thawed. I'm gonna use all this, but for now, I'm only adding half. Then I'm gonna mix it really good with my electric mixer to make sure it's smooth and creamy and then I'll add the rest. Oh, and I decided to add in some vanilla. I did about a teaspoon. Then I added the rest of that whipped topping. But this time, you're not gonna mix it with the electric mixer. We're gonna fold this in so it stays light and fluffy. Well, as light and fluffy as we can get it. And y'all, I could seriously sit here and eat this with a spoon. 
This is my kind of treat. Now we're going to grab that pie crust with the magic shell that's already hardened on the bottom and then go ahead and pour in that peanut butter mixture. I just used my spatula there to spread it out and it don't have to be perfect. I ended up adding on some chopped up Reese cups. Now I think this pie is better if you let it chill in the refrigerator overnight. I've heard of people putting them in the freezer too, but I've never tried it that way. I drizzled over some of that magic shell and added those chopped up mini Reese cups. And I gotta tell you, this pie is amazing. It's my husband's favorite. And y'all have to let me know below, what is your favorite summertime no-bake dessert? Or even if it's not no-bake, what is your favorite summer dessert? I had to try this ice cream sandwich cake. The kids loved it. I'm using an eight by eight pan for this. The bottom of this one just so happens to pop out, which does make it a little easier to get out of here. But any eight by eight will work. You can also double the recipe and make it in a nine by 13. I did cut a big square of parchment paper. Then I did some diagonal cuts around the corners. That way I could slide it down in there and fold those corners together. It's kind of hard to explain, so you'll just have to watch. Um, but this way, that ice cream cake don't get stuck in there. And it took a minute or two for me to get it down in there to get it to fit right, but I got it. I'm using one box of ice cream sandwiches. You'll need about 12. I'm using the vanilla, but you can also use the Neapolitan. You're just going to lay them in one single layer across the bottom. It'll take six for this layer. And just to let you know that last one, you're probably going to have to cut it to make it fit in there. You want them to be nice and snug. Now over the top of those ice cream sandwiches, you're going to spread half of an eight ounce container of thawed whip topping. Now make sure you get this spread out evenly and get all the way to those edges. Next, you're gonna drizzle over some hot fudge. I'm using the Hershey's hot fudge topping and I did microwave that for about maybe 15 to 20 seconds to kind of make it easier to drizzle. I probably went a little overboard here, but it's okay. But hey, chocolate makes everything better, am I right? And not only did I add the hot fudge, I did some caramel sauce too. And I should have microwaved this one also because it came out pretty thick. But we love caramel too. Now feel free to add some chopped nuts here. You could do pecans, um, but I would do about a fourth of a cup. Okay, now we're going to repeat that whole process one more time. I did the ice cream sandwiches, the whipped topping, and then the hot fudge and caramel sauce. But for the top, I did try to make it look pretty here. And I like the combination of chocolate and caramel in this, but if you wanted to do all chocolate or all caramel, that would be fine too. And you could top it with some chopped nuts or do like me and top it with some mini M&Ms. And I couldn't resist here. This looked like it really needed some sprinkles, so I added those on too. I popped this ice cream cake in the freezer for about two hours to completely firm up before I was ready to serve it. If you want, you can freeze it overnight, but make sure you freeze it and not just refrigerate it. I know that sounds silly to say, but I don't want anybody to accidentally mess up their ice cream cake. And I know somebody's probably gonna ask. This was so good. We all loved it. The kids loved it. And the adults loved it too. Oh, and sorry, Daddy, I don't think this made it up to your house, so I'll make it again. Oh, and I make a really good brownie ice cream cake. I'll have to share that one with you too soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more easy recipes, and I will see you in the next one.